oh wonders of the world So many wonders to behold So many questions in my mind So many questions, so little time Answers don't so easily come Unless you know to ask someone Who is a master of the trade Ask them how clouds get their shape Welcome to What the Heck is That with David Shaventura Hi everyone, I have an exciting new guest for you this week All you foodies get ready because I have Koei Bada with me who is a TV producer for... You guessed it, Food Network! Hi everyone, hi David, thanks for having me. She has worked her way into some big time shows that she produces for and she is here to tell us how she got there. Welcome, Koei. Thanks, David. Nice to be here. So do you consider yourself more of a chef or a TV producer? Uh, that's a great question. Um, so I definitely consider myself a TV producer. I do not consider myself a chef. Uh, even though I went to culinary school, um, the goal was not to work in a restaurant or be a chef. The goal was uh, to really educate myself so I could be a better TV producer. So you had all planned out. Yep, I definitely uh, knew uh, what I wanted. Uh, I went to culinary school with uh, really one goal in mind, and that goal was to educate myself so I could be a better uh, food TV producer. I see you have worked on a tons of shows. What were the most fun to work on? Uh, that's right. I have worked on a ton of different shows. Um, I have done uh, shows like Dancing with the Stars all the way to Worst Cooks in America and Beat Bobby Flay. Um, I actually just finished a show with Martha Stewart, which was really fun. Um, but yes, I would say probably my favorite show to work on was called The Taste. Uh, it was on ABC and um, I, it was with Anthony Bourdain, uh, the late Anthony Bourdain. Um, he was always an idol of mine and the fact that I got to work with him um, really was such an amazing experience. Um, I'm so lucky to have had that opportunity. So that was a really fun show. Um, I, always enjoy working on Beat Bobby Flay. I have been working on that show for about 13 seasons um, and I love it. It's fast paced. We have amazing talent. Uh, Bobby Flay is an incredible chef. He's also extremely professional. Um, so stepping on set uh, is, always, is always fun and exciting for me. Um, clearly I've been doing it for a long time so it doesn't get old. Uh, but yeah, every show, you know, every show ha is different and it's a different experience. And I always walk away, um, you know, having, um, you know, new knowledge and also um, just a, a new memory, really. So do you have any memory in mind from those to share? Definitely. Um, what are some memories? Well, uh, I just had a, like I said, I just had a great, uh, experience working with Martha Stewart. Um, she actually baked me cookies, <laughs> um, and brought them to set. So that was very sweet of her. I, I don't think many people can say Martha Stewart baked cookies for, for someone. Um, I, Anthony Bourdain, uh, he was, he cooked on set. So I was able to eat some of his food, um, which, is was an awesome experience um you know i get to honestly i'm lucky i i i have a lot of amazing memories and experiences that you know most people don't get to do because i i work with such amazing talent um you know chefs and uh, musicians 
celebrities. Um, you know, I've, I've was able to meet Stevie wonder. Um, he, he was performed. Um, so, you know, it's, it, it's a long list and I'm, I'm very fortunate. Awesome. So you must share with us your favorite things to cook. Oh man. Okay. That's a hard question. I actually get asked that question a lot. Um, so I, I love to bake. Um, my mom is actually a professional pastry chef. Um, so I always grew up around a lot of desserts, um, and baked goods. And, uh, that is definitely something that I enjoy. She passed down to me and that I now enjoy doing. So I love to make cookies, cakes, um, I, banana bread is probably my favorite. Um, and then as far as savory dishes go, um, I love cooking like really warm and comforting food, um, like long braises and stews uh, are, I always find so delicious. Um, and uh, I love the process of cooking, honestly. It's very, it's very relaxing for me. Um, and I, I enjoy, and then I enjoy sharing it with my friends and family. I love to bake two weekend swan recipes. I love that. What do you like to bake? Hala. Ooh, that's a good one. Can you tell us some of your duties as a producer? That is also a great question. <laughs> it is a loaded question because um, as a producer, my duties range from some of the smaller things um, like picking out wardrobe for talent to being across the entire production. So I, it's my job to communicate with all our departments um, to make sure that we're all on the same page before we head out into the field and start filming. Um, I also am in charge of coming up with and pitching the creative to our client um, and making sure that, that what they want is then executed in the field. Um, so I have a lot of duties and, and honestly, they, they change every day. Every day brings, um, s something new to the table. Um, I think my, if I had to explain my job in one word, it's, it, or in a couple words, it's pretty much, uh, putting out fires. Like <laughs> I, you know, if something happens on set, I have to fix it. We have to find a solution. We're constantly pivoting. Um, to make sure that we are, you know, getting the content we need, uh, talent is happy and that we're running on time. Is there anything you don't do? <laughs> um, I, not yet. <laughs> um, maybe, oh, you know, I've never been in charge of crafty on set. Um, but I'm glad that's, that's not part of my job description. Um, and if you don't know what crafty is, uh, that is um, our snack table or the, the place where our crew goes to eat. Um, there's a separate department for that to make sure that our crew and talent are fed um, during the day. I've, I've never been in charge of, of that and I'm glad I, I'm, I, I, don't have, I don't have any plans to be in charge of that. What are your favorite cooking shows to just watch? Um, so I, I love watching TV. Um, and, but the funny thing is I, so this is a little known fact. I have never watched any of my shows. <laughs> the reason because it's, I've already lived it firsthand. Um, so rewatching it doesn't really give me any sort of uh, pleasure. Uh, but I do enjoy when other people watch my shows. Um, but the shows that I shows that I enjoy that I haven't worked on are um, Chef's Table on Netflix. I think that show is beautiful. It's it's cinematic. It's it makes you honestly it makes my mouth water every time I watch it. It's just like so delicious. The food that they feature and the chefs that they feature are incredible. Um, so I think that's, that show is, uh, really well done. Um, 
And, uh, but yeah, I mean, as far as like any food competition shows, I really don't watch them because I end up, uh, because honestly, I've probably worked on them. So um, I tend to, to stay away from those. Maybe our watchers can check it out. Definitely, I would highly recommend um, for anyone to watch uh, Chef's Table on Netflix. I think for a food show, it, it checks all the boxes. It's like I said, it's beautifully shot. Um, the chefs they feature are awesome. The food is delicious. Um, it honestly makes me so hungry every time I watch it. How did you go about landing your first producing job? Um, that's also a great question. Uh, it's, um, so I, I, you know, I never really thought I actually wanted to work in the field. Um, I was actually on the path to working in development. Um, and development is when you come up with shows. So you, you come up with original ideas and you try to sell them. So at the time I was working in development, uh, for the BBC um, and the BBC is actually the production company behind Dancing with the Stars. Um, I, after a, a few years working there, um, was interested in, in possibly working in the field. So I, I asked my boss, um, you know, to set me up with an interview. Uh, so I went down there, I went to set, I had my interview and I got hired. Um, so I decided to just dive right in. I quit my other job and started working on Dancing with the Stars. And that was my first show I ever produced. Um, and it was uh, quite the experience. Um, it, not only is it a huge show and obviously a very successful one, but it's a live show. Um, and live TV is a whole other, um, whole other beast. Uh, but it was a great introduction to to production and and producing and working in the field. Um, so I'm I'm very um, I'm very grateful that that was my um, my first my first job, my first producing job. That's crazy. I would like to speak with them. Maybe I can get a job too. That was a great start to our conversation, but don't forget, come back next weekend for part two. I bet you have noticed this awesome shirts I am wearing. You can have one too. We will be selling shirts and mugs. If you want to order one, send me a direct message on Instagram at David Saventura. A portion of the sales will be donated to a really great cause. What the heck is that? Wonders, oh wonders of the world. So many wonders to behold So many questions in my mind So many questions, so little time Answers so so easily come Unless you know to ask someone Who is a master of the trade Ask them how clouds get their shape Welcome to What the Heck Is That with David Saventura.